What's up guys, MacTech here, and welcome back to another Mac Hacks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the icons of applications um, and basically any icon um, on your Mac. So if you take a look at the bottom of my screen right down here, um, you will see that all my icons actually are different than the default icons that you uh, that come with the Mac. I'll try to zoom in on this when I edit the video, but if not, make your uh, your video full screen. You can check out the different icons I have. There are a few things you need to know to do this. The first thing you need to know is that you cannot do this without disabling rootless otherwise known as System Integrity Protection. When Apple released OS X 10.11, um, they created a System Integrity Protection feature, uh, also known as Rootless. Basically, this is um, aimed to prevent Macs um, by getting like malicious code or viruses or an like things like that. Um, most Mac users will not disable Rootless just because a lot of Mac users don't do much of the advanced things, but if you are an advanced Mac user, or if you do want to change your icons like I have done, you do need to disable rootless. To do this, you need to go into recovery mode, and I will show you how to do this in one second. Alright guys, so the computer is restarting, and what you're going to want to do is hold down Command R, and it should go into recovery mode. Let's give it a second here. Alright, so we are in recovery mode, and OS X Utilities comes up. Now what you're going to want to do is go to Utilities, let me focus this, there we go, and Terminal. Alright, so the terminal comes up just like it would regularly um, if you were on your Mac regularly. Now what you're going to type in is CSRUTIL space disable semicolon reboot. What this does is uh, disables the rootless and it will also reboot your computer. If you don't want to reboot your computer, just don't put the reboot in the semicolon. Alright guys, so at this point you're just going to restart your computer. So go right up to the Apple icon. And restart. All right, guys. So assuming you did that right, you're going to be back. Um, restart your computer or reboot it, and you're going to be back on your uh, desktop. If you want to make sure the command worked, you're going to go to your uh, terminal app. So I have mine in other. It's right here. Just open up terminal. Type in CSRUTIL status, and it should say disabled right here. If it doesn't, um, I would go back into recovery mode. Just make sure you type the command right, because it should work. All right, guys, so for the sake of this video, I have gone ahead and reverted the mail app back to its original icon. So if you want to change the icon for this app, what you're going to do is right-click it. Um, first, you want to make sure it's uh, the application is closed. So make sure the dot won't be there. That's how I have mine set up. If there's a dot under the app, it means it's open. So make sure the application is closed. You're going to go to Options, and you're going to go to Show in Finder. Wherever app you want to change, you have to find it in the Finder. Um, this one happens to be in the Applications folder. So you're going to have the icon clicked. Right-click it or click Command-I. So you're going to Get Info. Uh, sorry about that. All right. So at this point... Um, you're going to have the info pane up right here. Now, to um, change the icon, you're going to actually have to have a icon to change it to. Uh, I actually happen to have a bunch of icons right here in this folder, and I downloaded a Minecraft pack, and that's what I use for some of my applications. So the one I want happens to be in, uh, I think, 3D. Alright, and I use the diamond block for mail, so just click on it. Alright, you're going to double click. And it's going to open up in the preview app right here. Alright, so you're in the picture. What you're going to do is click Command A to select the photo, because you can't just right click it and copy it. You have to actually have this photo selected. So Command A, Command C to copy it, and then I just Command Q to exit out of that. All right, you're going to click on the little icon right next to the name of the application, so right here, and it will highlight it, 
What you're going to do is Command-V to paste it. Type in your password if it asks you for that. Alright, and now it is changed. If you exit out, you will see that it actually changed in the folder. Obviously, it did not change here, so what you're going to do is right-click, Options, Remove from Dock, and drag it back. Alright, and conversely, if you want to get rid of an icon, do the same thing, so it would be Show in Finder, so here it is. Alright, you're going to go Get Info, just like you did before. Click on it to highlight it, and Command X. Alright, it'll ask you for the password, type it in. And it'll be changed. Again, it won't be changed in the dock, um, but it will be changed in the folder. Do the same thing. Remove this and drag it back in. Um, I'm going to just change mine back, though. So you can always do that by Command Z. All right, and now it's back to normal. And that's how you do it, guys. So you can do that individually for each application. Um, I have applications in the dock. I also have some applications um, in my mission control here, or... Yeah, mission control, like my terminal, my activity monitor, uh, my audio MIDI setup. So yeah, that is how you do that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I believe I covered everything, um, but if I did miss something, I'll try to put an annotation in the video. And like I said, if you have any questions, comment below, and I'll try to get back as soon as possible. Um, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like or a comment and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.